Hey y'all, Darth Mollian here. Welcome back. As you see, we are on the top floor. We're still working on the tower build here. Uh, I just wanted to start off with a nice little view of the Pridwin out there. Uh, and I decided I would go ahead and start up here this time rather than make you, you know, watch me travel all the way up here around the stairs since most of the work is going to be done up here. I will need to go downstairs at one point, but... Uh, I will get to that. So today I'm going to figure out, I'm going to show you, I've already figured out uh, the plan for this room up here. Um, and let's see, let's go to the warehouse. First off, we're going to remove that because we're just going to place a regular wall there. I'm going to show you why here in just a moment. So what I decided to do... There, thank you. And we're gonna put this here. So what this is gonna be, um, this is the first little room. This is gonna be the uh, the office, um, I think. Or was this gonna be, no, no, I'm sorry, yes. I messed up, this is actually wrong. The office is gonna be in another area. This, sorry, I may, I changed things in the middle of while I was doing this the other day and forgot which one I ended up with. So this is actually going to be a um, guest room. So uh, we're going to just put a little, you know, we're going to put a bathroom and everything here. Uh, but this is going to be a guest bedroom. So, you know, anytime the, the uh, if I ever have anybody over, uh, they, this, is, this is where they'll stay. Um, just kind of a nice little area. Next, we're going to get the kitchen going here. And what I decided for that is we're going to go with initially, this is going to be a little, well, we don't want that yet. Uh, we're going to put this here and then put this here. Otherwise, that half wall won't snap in. Uh, so this is going to be a little pantry. Um, I think I'm going to leave this as a window just because it looks nice. Uh, but this is going to be a pantry. Uh, that's going to be where I store all the food. Uh, then this is going to be the kitchen area here. And we'll have, you know, the, the range and all that over here. Uh, this area... I'm going to block this off, do a little 2x2 two two wall here, and this is going to be the office. So the way this is going to end up is, for now, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to leave this here because I don't even have power yet. Uh, I did not get power to the elevator yet, but that's all right. Um, that will happen. Uh, for now, I wanted to have, I want to leave this in place, but what I am going to do is we're going to store this and store this. I'm going to put a door here and a wall here. And what this is going to be is this is going to be the extra, the, the exit. Uh, so uh, this will make it easy for me while I'm up here to get downstairs as well. I just jump out the window and there we go. Uh, but this is also going to be, there's going to be like a, a bookshelf or something in front of this. Um, and I go around behind it and there's the door to get out and into the escape hatch. So, um, but this is going to be the office. And next we're going to get, so this is going to be kind of a dining area here. Um... Let's see, I think I'm going to leave this open. I may do another half wall here, I'm not sure yet, but this is going to be essentially the dining area right in here. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and put, uh, let's see if I can get this to work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to start with the this, and... I am going to build essentially a closet 
and a fancy bathroom. Uh, I call it a fancy bathroom. It's probably not that fancy, but that's okay. Um, it looks kind of cool, and I like it. Uh, I came up with this idea in uh, Fallout 76, actually. Um, I was messing around in there and came up with it, and it actually works out a little better in Fallout 4. Uh, in some ways, but in other ways, it does not. And I'll show you what we're going to do. But this is going to be the bathroom here. Uh, and this is going to be the master closet. So let's go ahead and actually remove that. Because what I'm going to do now is put those in place. And there we go. So that's going to be the master bedroom right here. Uh, this is going to be the office, the kitchen, the dining area. This is going to be kind of a sitting room, a living air, living room area uh, over here. That's where you kind of come out of the elevator and walk into that. I didn't want to have the elevator exiting right into the dining room. That just felt weird to me. So I blocked off one exit. Uh, but, you know, I think it looks good. So this is essentially the master, the you know, the, the penthouse suite. Uh, and I like it. So... Now, let's go ahead and get to this. This is probably going to take up the rest of the episode, but we'll see. Um, we're going to first grab this and take it downstairs. So, um, well, actually, I guess I don't really need to. Uh, I could probably start this up here. I think it'll be okay. But uh, let's let's try this and see what happens. So what we're going to do is um, I came up with this idea, like I said, of Fallout 76. I was trying to think of a way to come up with a really interesting style of bathroom, just a, a different different way to do things. And this is what I came up with. Um, and like I said, it works out a little bit better in Fallout 4 because we have this right here. These clean tables. Uh, these clean coffee tables and they work out extremely well and they work perfectly for this so let's get first one down and then so basically we're gonna be as we're gonna be uh, putting this together as a uh, kind of a floor a raised floor of these coffee tables and we just got to line them up as best we can. There we go. That looks good. Let's get the rest of them in place. And yeah, see, so you got to... Sometimes you got to spin these around so that they actually... Because the bounding box on some of these is pretty, pretty large on one way and small the other way. So... As long as it lines up and there's really no gap. Yep, that looks good. That's all I really care about. I just don't want there to be a gap between the base. Because uh, essentially what we're going to do is once we get this in place. Uh, now, if I mess up with this, if this is getting... I can pull the... Uh, I'm going to keep all of these on the one floor piece so that if I do mess it up, I can just grab this floor piece and, and we're going to go one more right here. Now, yes, they do kind of clip together and there's some, uh, some of the, the clipping that you see, the, the, you know, the pixels fighting each other and stuff, but that's all right. It's not a concern for me. If it is for you, that's, you know, you can line these up a little differently. Um, but that's our base. And as you see, we can walk right on top of it. Now, here's the problem. In Fallout 76, this would pop right on top of those tables. In Fallout 4, it doesn't for some reason, and I don't know why. I don't know what the difference is between those. I don't know what happened with it, but it doesn't. So, 
we'll we'll make do. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do one more prep thing before we get started on this. We're gonna build the rest of it outside. And there. Now, you some of you are probably wondering. Some of you know what's about to happen, some of you do not. Uh, I'm gonna show you real quick while I'm up here. What this is for is, as you see, this pillar, this post will not sink through the ground. Uh, it won't sink through the boards, but if you put a campfire there, it sinks right through. So that's what that's for, is just so that I can get, uh, I can adjust the height uh, as I need to once I get this together. So let's go ahead and head outside. Whee! All right. So we're going to come over here to our trusty little staging area because this is where I this 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 is really nice because it gives me a nice pretty flat area to work with and I like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with I wanted and this this is the idea I came up with in 76 like I said um, I wanted a large bathtub now unfortunately we don't have a large bathtub in this game we don't even have a clean bathtub in this game or at this point in 76 either um, hopefully we'll get those one day, but, uh, for now, uh, I just wanted something that looked kind of fancy, kind of like a, a raised, cause you go to some places, some, some houses and they'll have like this, the, this nice big spa tub. Uh, it's big. It's usually on some kind of a raised platform or, or, you know, raised foundation section. Um, and it, it looks kind of nice. So I wanted to kind of duplicate that as best I can. So this is what I came up with. So we start with a couple of these bathtubs. Uh, then we come over to, yeah, this right here. And... Huh. Oh, you know what? I, yeah... Okay, because I think what I've been doing is let's see. There we go. I want to grab these because I need to. Uh... I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm essentially going to lower the tub into the middle of this or raise it up uh, so let's see if that's enough okay well let's move the plant get that out of the way all right let's see is that enough room no it is not Probably could have done this a little differently, but that's okay. What I want the to do here is I want basically the tub to line up with the top of Yeah, like that. Good, I like it. So that way this will go ahead and now you see that the tub is a little bit higher uh it's raised up a little bit but i'm gonna sink everything a bit into the uh um the the floorboards upstairs and that will kind of hide the legs of the tables here uh so i want to start with that And what I need to do next is let's go ahead and pull these out. Hop on over. And what I want to do is I basically want to line this up as best I can. I want the drawers facing inward because what I'm going to do is this is these are not long enough. Those long tables are not long enough. Yeah, that looks about right. Let's see if I can... Okay, that's not right.
right. Okay, let's back this up a little bit. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, I'm going to try to glitch these in. Uh, so that uh, they line up about even. There we go. All right, that should be good. Let's go ahead and see if I can... It's going to be a little tricky. And that's annoying. It's a little tricky to line this up and... Might have to drug glitch these. Yeah, they're not lined up. All right. Okay, that's all right. Let's rug glitch them. see what happens so uh, let's move this over here and let's get we're gonna start by doing we're gonna try this and see if this works do the small Try and see if I can get this to glitch in properly because it'll actually give me a better idea of where it's going. So, uh, let's see because I can line this up a little better. Good. Let's just pop that right there. That looks good. Remove the rug and uh, I think yeah, I think I didn't There. We'll just do that. That works. And then I can I can glitch in the uh, or or place the uh, sorry this is taking a while to get this here but we got it so yeah I can I can put the the bathtubs back in in a moment I just want these to line up as best I can. Just takes a minute to get it lined up properly. Except now I don't know where the bathtub was. Alright, let's get those back in. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We'll get this. Good. All right, stop grabbing the ashtray. You go over there. All right. I just I need to get a better angle. see the tops of these and make sure they're lined up properly. That's good. I can leave that there. Alright, now we can get it in place. Alright. Finally. Let's move this over that way so I can see better. There we go. 
just trying to get it so that the the whole thing pops at about the same point. Like that, that's good. I want to cover just a bit. drops right into place. That is perfect. That is exactly how I want it to look. Now let's get the other one in place. Should not take too long. Wonderful. All right. Restore that. Now, what we got to do is this is going to be the trickier part here is getting the tables in place. So, uh, to do that, we're going to start by pulling a couple of these down, lining them up with each other. And trying to line them up with that. That looks pretty good. Alright, so I wanted a gap here. And I want it to be lined up pretty straight. It is pretty straight here. There's not much in the way of... Maybe I could probably adjust it just a little bit. good all right so now what we've got to do is we've got to do the same trick that we're about to do upstairs and that is when you come down here got to place a campfire spin it till it's green nice and close uh, then I need to place a some stairs because I got to get up high Make sure that's good enough. Yep, that way. Oh, those are definitely not lined up. That's better. Much better. All right, there we go. <laughs> Take some, you know, trial and error on these things, but hey, you can get it eventually. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to build two more of these tables. Put them right next to each other. Let's see, I think I can do this over here. Just need to get them lined up. On the same level, right next to each other. That looks good to me. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And grab it without grabbing anything else. Bring it over here. Move that out of the way. Where's... I guess I don't have that one. Okay. Uh, right, and I also need this. So, let's grab this. And I'm going to go with a tall one just to make sure that I got plenty of room. And we're going to 
grab it right here. Because I need a spacer. So. There we go. Now we come up top. Sink it right down. And I think these tables are not close enough. Push them in just a little bit further. Okay, that looks good. Let's make sure from above. Ah! Try not to fall off. Okay. And I just gotta adjust this to get it to line up properly. There we go. Well, almost. There we go. Now we're lined up. All right. Again, just double check and make sure we're good from above. We look good. Push that nice and close. I'm going to get this as even as I can. Then we drop it down, pull it back. Because I want the table to almost glitch into the uh, side tables there. Okay. That looks good to me. I like it. And see, even you can see the the table legs are, are kind of stuck together, so it looks really good. It looks like it's kind of molded together, actually. I think it looks good. Uh, so now we're going to move this, because I don't need that one. Store that. And now I can grab this whole thing. And we can head upstairs and put it in place. And you'll notice as I go up the stairs, uh, I actually added one other thing. I put some railings in. I was getting tired of falling down those little gaps. So I decided to put in some railings for whenever I'm working. Um, besides, it actually, you know, that's what they would have anyway. They would have some railings on there. So, sorry if you're getting dizzy with this, guys. We're almost there. All right, here we are. So let's go ahead and put this in position. So... Push it back as far as it'll go. Sink it down just a bit. And there we go. So you can walk right up. And there we are. Walk right up. You got the the uh you know the, the side areas where you can sit and you know whatever. Uh and then you got the steps leading up. They're not even I get that, but that's okay. I may fix it later. I may try to fix it later. Uh, but for now, I like it. I think it's good. Uh, let me just double check the other side and make sure that nothing glitched through, at least not too bad. Ah, I'm okay with that. I can put something in that place in front of that and uh, just want to make sure it wasn't huge amounts of stuff sticking through. So... Um, yeah, so there's that. Now, what the other thing I do 
is I did kind of a let's see I think it's here now it's furniture I just need see we finally got clean sinks in 76 and what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna put some uh, I'll put a couple of sinks here and I will put the mirrors in place I'm also going to let's see if I can uh, let's see where are they where were they we're also gonna put a toilet right here which may seem a little awkward, but, you know, we're in the penthouse. Nobody's going to see it. Um, so, was it under tables? Yes, here we are. Okay. So what I'm going to end up doing is putting... I don't want that one. This would be fine. I just need to raise those up just a bit. I won't... I don't think I've got time. Yeah, I don't have time to glitch this in today. Uh, maybe I'll do that before the next episode. But I'll probably go ahead and glitch one here and one here. Um, I'll just glitch them together uh, and... Um, Put it in place and that way we've got uh see if this is yeah see it's just short enough that the sink is just high enough that it's not gonna uh it the bottom of the sink is hidden by the countertop here uh but the the sink bowl doesn't actually uh clip through uh so you can't actually see it which is nice that's what i wanted See? Oh, there we go. Um, so, I know there's ways to do it, and it does make the sinks a little bit high, but I'm okay with that. Um, I could, You can always, if you rather, you can always go with this lower one and lower the sinks a little bit further. Um, either way, whichever one works for you. Um, or you could do one sink low and one sink high. You know, those work too. There's, there's houses that do that. But, uh, yeah, so this is the fancy bathroom. I like it. I think it works pretty well. Um, these these work out really nice uh, as some really decorative stairs because the only ones we get in 76 are these dirty tables. Um, we don't have clean ones in that one for some reason. Uh, but they only give us this dirty version. And it doesn't look nearly as nice. And you can't glitch things together quite as well. So... Doesn't look as great, but, uh, you know, it works. Um, and hopefully if we can get some clean tubs or something, that would be awesome. And then I can make it look even better in 76 at least. Uh, but for now, that's that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, next up, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll do some furnishings here in uh, the bedroom. Um, and I'm going to show you my plan for the garbage chute all the way down, um, on the, uh, uh, on, on the other levels. Because this level, of course, is not going to have the garbage chute, but all the other levels will. Except for the first level, I think. I don't think I'm going to need to put one in there. Uh, but all the others have a garbage chute, and I've already got that planned exactly how that's going to look. Um, so I'll probably do like the first level and just show you guys how it's done. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start doing some furnishings on this place, uh, and getting some, uh, some of the, the buildable decorations in. I won't do the junk decorations. I'm going to do that on my own because I know that gets really boring really fast. So <laughs> sitting there watching me work for, you know, an hour or two, just trying to get, some junk pieces lined up properly is, is not fun. So, 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and stop here, uh, but I really like this bathroom. I, I have come to really enjoy it, and uh, I hope you like it too. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.